Well, here we are back at Overbury Farms in Longacre, which is the field that had the cover crops in it last year and over the winter period to try and protect the soil surface from soil erosion. And uh, the field has been drilled on the 22nd and 23rd of March with Propino Spring Barley, about 350 seeds per square metre. Uh, drilled with the cross slot drill, which has done a good job of getting through the, all the crop residue. Uh, in this case, it was the dense mustard. And, uh, and that's put that spring barley in there fairly well. Uh, we just come across here now and we come into the area that was the forage rye. Um, quite a lot more uh, residue here on the surface. And I think that's probably just holding up, there's a tram line there, um, a little bit of nitrogen that's not necessarily making it available to the uh, to the spring barley. The field has had 30 kilos of nitrogen before drilling, 30 kilos immediately afterwards, and then it's had another 80 kilos after that. And uh, this is the uh, spring barley after... Yep, we're all crop walking today. Uh, we have... Um, uh, this is after the vetch. So straight winter vetch. Loads of crop residue, loads of cover on the surface, and obviously I, I would assume quite a lot more available nitrogen. So we'll we'll be getting samples of these at harvest just to see um, what nitrogen levels the grain has in it, which obviously for malting barley is uh, is pretty important. This is the King Soil Structure Mix. Again, quite a good take in the plants. Um, probably a little bit less nitrogen as you look at it but you know at the end of the day it's going to come down to what these plots are going to yield um, probably a bit more end locked up just again because of the amount of residue uh, that there is in here as well another bit of a tram line there uh, then we come into this area which is the rye and the vetch so quite a nice mixture between the two um, with the, uh, the leguminous nitrogen fixing vetches and then the forage rye which um, which creates a sort of a little bit more soil structure again really nice green healthy looking plants there and then we come into the black oats and vetch area in here um, it's a lot more sort of high dense uh, straw the black oats actually sort of, uh, desiccated themselves off um, you can see the sort of amount of straw that here on the surface. A little bit of slug activity in here um, and I think because it's been so dry it's just sort of delayed the uh, these crops uh, in their ability to really sort of get going. Uh, into the King Soil Vitality Mix block which is just here. Um, again, really really nicely with the drill I think just there and uh, seems to be coming along really well. Ideally an inch of rain on this would be fantastic just to get that nitrogen that was put on the surface at sort of about the three leaf stage really getting into these fields um, and uh, and getting the uh, getting the crop established and getting it really growing. We've had several frosts this week which haven't helped a couple of minus twos um, and here we go into this is Defender Oil Radish um, which uh, again going into the brassica I was slightly worried about the slug problem um, but establishment and uh, and seed survival has been pretty good. Um, it's been amazing how much wildlife as well we've seen here. Um, and we can hear, I don't know whether you can hear that, but there's skylarks all over the field, uh, which is great. And I think the fact that it hasn't been cultivated, hasn't been disturbed. Here we are, we're in some more oil radish here. Um, well, actually the, the crop has come really, really well indeed. So I think these roots are being driven down by the, uh, by the uh, sort of following the brassica crop, um, a bit more available nitrogen. Um, even though it's a dense, dense residue, it was quite leafy. We didn't graze these off with the sheep. Um, I'll just put it back up through the crop there. It looks a little bit different with all the, uh, the stalks and the stems sticking up, but there's plenty of plants in there. About taking this through to yield to see how uh, this particular trial 
is going to deliver some great malting barley for Molson Coors and we'll take it from there. <laughs>